All right, let's play this in full here. We got the student and the mentor. The mentor tells him, go, go, go. And he goes, oh. Oh. All right. So looking at this here, a couple of thoughts. I think overall, it's it's fairly clear. There's some things at the beginning I would tweak a bit. I think once you are in this section, the look back, the jump, all that is cute. And that all makes it clear. We're kind of rushing the end there and right there. I will give this some more time. But let's go. Let's go right away. So as the shot starts, there's movement right here. So I think the audience is going to go pretty quickly there in terms of focus. But let's pretend they're not. There's something slightly odd with the head so far this way, yet the eyes are here. I would just give this a bit of a clear pose. Um, you know, I would potentially even, why not have the head just there? And maybe even that arm could be a bit lower. Um, you know, bring out that leg a bit. Just clear silhouette for all the limbs. And it's looking somewhere. And again, um, <coughs> excuse me, you can have a little bit of a something moving in there so we all know they're looking at something together i mean the the mentor here is looking there but he does jump here so i don't know i think this creature is a wise creature and could already know where it is unless you have something here and it goes blah, 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 like little mounts of snow whatever that then gets small and then disappear and then we wonder where it went i think you could do that right looks here there's that and then you can have the little piles of snow kind of mounting and go down and disappear, which is movement this way leads to to this guy, whoop, to the head. Uh, creature also looks over there and the snout leads over there. Everything leads back to this guy. And let's make sure that, um, you know, later on you're going to have a bit of a mm, organic snow mount. And then you got your snow background, little snow covered trees and things. But anyway, once you have that, again, I keep that pose clear, but also make that transition work. Because right now, if you look at this, bam, there's a lot of movement right there. So just make sure that once you spline this, that it just, just explode into this move. So there could be, again, how, it depends how far you want to go. Is the, is the head still there, but has enough room to show the pupils to look up and down to kind of what is he looking at and what is he trying to tell me so i don't know i would think about that in terms of storytelling and acting what that human here wants to do then you get into this which is okay but again you got some twin legs overlapping limbs here so I keep things more at least in this direction in terms of separation for negative space that's okay Having that head tilt, like, hmm, what is there? And again, I'm, this could be cute with a little bit of things here moving a little bit. Not super sure about this block coming out of the mouth. So I still, you might have to imagine neck is here, elongate this and have the head here so that you got, you know, the upper chest here. So somewhere we have a bit of a view of that in terms of arms. And it could be, you know, further out. And then this leg could be further out. Just something where it's a bit clearer in terms of silhouette. Because again, you have some moments where this arm just kind of grows out of that head. I'll focus on that probably there. And then, then it gets a bit funky, right? So you have the moves. Okay, okay. It's there. It's there. Okay. And then you go into this, which is a bit odd. You go all the way down with this completely horizontal, still trying to look there, shoot back up here. And again, once you spline this, this is gonna be a really fast move. So what does this mean? Why is it so low with the head tilted so far? And then this big move is this kind of an excited, I'm ready or a slow, hmm, I don't know what's going on right now. And that's why he goes, well, we'll go. And then maybe he has a bit of a head move going, well, now it's, you know, go like the way you have it here, but a bit sooner. We're like, okay, okay, come on, you gotta go jump. So a bit more acting in there, so that he realizes, oh, okay, well, I guess that's what I gotta do. So there's just something that could be pushed in terms of clear poses and acting moments of, like, I'm not sure what's going on here. What does he feel? What's the question there? And I think this could be your, your interesting moment of 
them communicating. I, I think this could be a good uh, pantomime moment there. That feels a bit underused. That's okay. That works. In terms of now going back. Uh, you know, the poses are a bit strange. You also got that overlap there. That goes straight into that. The leg and the arm. This very twins. All very twin there. And I think... You can have, you know, I think the legs could drag a bit more so that once you get in there, you got that compression there. I think overall, just the posing could be a bit more interesting. And then this definitely has to be splined out. Like once we see all this spline, it's going to be interesting in terms of the timing. But I think foo, foo, it could be okay. I think you could have a probably a bit of a longer hang time up there. It might just be okay, but this is pretty banana. So this will need some more finessing once you are splining this. Then you got that, and I think in here, once you get into more um, you know, complex stuff, some movement in there. Obviously, I know this is just spline, but as you, I mean, stepped, as you spline this, don't just give this a hold. I would probably do some movement so we know it's rummaging and trying to get something out. And then given, depends how you have that geometry, you might be a bit close. You might want to go up, and since you're going this way, he actually goes back with his steps so that he ends up being here. And then he drops the mouse again that the mouse is here and he is here. This might be a bit cleaner. And then you need a couple more seconds here because once you're done, he looks up and then we just cut out. Which brings me back to the point of you have to look at your shots. If this is your current shot, you got to put in another shot before and after and then watch the whole thing to see how it cuts in and cuts out. So this is deceiving because we, we see we loop back and it's just we're missing something. And this again could be a moment of how is he looking up? Is he excited? Is he kind of disgusted? Was it his first time maybe biting this? Uh, and then how does the mentor uh, react? Is he shaking his head, looking down, or excited, wagging tail, doggy style? That's weird to say. <laughs> so anything that again tells us something about their relationship i think that's uh you're missing opportunities there and in the middle uh during this section there all right that's all i have uh and that's it thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you